is up you guys today we are going to be taking a look at things that you guys have been doing wrong your entire life but as well as me i'm sure i'm doing a ton of things wrong and i can't wait to learn what they are today with you guys if you guys learned something from today's video make sure you hit that like button and share with friends so that we can all learn things together let's just go ahead and get into it have you guys tried to ever hang up a painting and it's super hard to kind of line up that string with that thumbtack well worry no more just take a fork put it on that thumbtack and easily slide your picture on okay this one is amazing and definitely something i need to try out i cannot fathom the amount of times i just kept on trying to put a picture on the wall and trying and trying and trying and i got so frustrated that i just gave up <sighs> well those days are long gone because I am definitely going to be using this hack in the future. Our next hack has to do with America's favorite cookie, the Oreo. I mean, who doesn't love Oreos? But the problem with Oreos is you dunk your fingers in and then your fingers get all nasty because you're trying to hold the Oreo and then the Oreo disintegrates all over your hand and you're just left with a huge gross mess. But you know, don't worry, there's a hack for that. All you're gonna wanna do is place a fork inside the Oreo and use that fork to dunk and then you don't gotta get your hands all messy. Super easy. The next hack is a sandwich hack. Instead of just putting two pieces of meat on your sandwich all willy-nilly, what you're gonna wanna do is you are gonna wanna cut up those pieces of ham so that they adequately fit on your sandwich. Therefore, you don't have any places without ham or places with too much ham. It would be perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys, this next hack is super useful. We all eat Pringles, you know. You keep on eating them and eating them and then all of a sudden you can't reach your hand down that little tiny tube anymore and then it's super frustrating and you have to try to dump them out and they get everywhere, well, this hack is for you. Take a look at this. All you want to do is take a sheet of paper, copy paper, any paper, I'm not judging, put it down the tube and then you can easily pull out the Pringles. I love that. Okay, this is confusing. How could you possibly hold a glass wrong? Oh, you're supposed to hold it from the stem. That's not a life hack. That's just being fancy. Next up, cutting bread. We're all doing it wrong, apparently. What you're gonna wanna do instead of that is, oh my gosh. Ah! So if you cut the bread upside down, you're gonna have a lot less tearing, more surface area for the knife to hit to go down smooth. Okay, this is actually completely life-changing. No more crumbs all over the place or getting all mashed up nasty pieces of bread. Now you can have a perfect slice every time. Eating pizza, you're doing it wrong. You think, how could I possibly be eating pizza wrong? Well, let's figure it out together. What you're gonna wanna do to eat pizza is actually fold it in half so that all your ingredients don't fall off onto the plate. I mean, then you'd have to eat it all with a fork and who'd wanna do that? Next up, we have a hack for opening up an apple. And yes, I said that right, opening up an apple. What you're gonna wanna do is twist the stem off, jam your thumb into that hole as hard as you can and pull. I mean, I feel like you have to be really, really strong to do this. Did you see how much force their thumb had on it? How red it was? And I also don't see why you'd want to do this. I guess if you don't have a knife at your disposal, that'd be pretty helpful. I think I'd rather just use a knife to each of their own, I guess. <laughs> Ice cream, you're doing it wrong. How on earth could, wait, what is, what are they doing? They're just cutting into the ice cream carton all willy nilly, no big deal. Whoa, <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. They're making an ice cream sandwich, an ice cream cookie sandwich. That looks so good. But now you have, what, wait back up but now what are you supposed to do with the rest of the car and are you just supposed to leave it open are you supposed to eat it all at once i mean i guess you could eat it all at once if you know you're pulling my arm here you could do that but I, I just don't understand what you're supposed to do with the rest of the carton. Sure, it's it's nice, I guess, if you plan on eating all the ice cream. I don't know, I'm just gonna move on to the next hack. Rugs, walking, you're doing it wrong. Who would have thought? So if you take a degreaser, cause we all have those laying around our house and Velcro, I guess you can Velcro all of your rugs to your floor. I guess that's a really useful life hack, but I wouldn't say that it's something that we're doing wrong. We're just walking, we're all human, right? Well, at least this way you won't trip over your rugs. Next up, we're cleaning grout stains. This is like an adult problem, but I have a feeling it's gonna be extremely satisfying after we're done watching this toothpaste, toothbrush compilation. Oh my gosh, that looks brand new. I wonder if this one actually works. I think I might have to go try that one out in a bit. <laughs> Next up, we have a hack for removing stickers. In case you put stickers on your binder and maybe you wanna take them off, you're gonna use soda and cooking oil brush it on the stickers, and then those puppies should just slide on off like they weren't even there in the first place. This is actually a really useful hack because I love stickers, but I hate the damage that they do to like your precious items. Oh, that's a good one, I like that. Do you ever just draw on your wall and then you decide that that was a really bad idea? I mean, who does this? Do you guys draw on the wall? I don't draw on the wall, I draw on paper, but I guess if you did decide to draw on your wall and you wanna remove it, all you have to do is take a hair dryer, heat up the wax, 
and then wipe it off. It's that easy. Now, I'm very skeptical about this one. I'm not completely sure it works. <laughs> This next hack is for removing nail polish. I guess you just get a sponge, a little jar, soak it in acetone, and then there you go. You have a little jar to help remove your nail polish super easily. Oh my gosh, take a look at this, guys. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut the sponge up into pieces, stuff it into the jar. Next up, you're gonna wanna add nail polish remover, acetone, or I guess, whatever you feel comfortable remo removing your nail polish with. You're gonna screw on the lid, let it soak, and then there you go. You have your handy dandy portable nail polish remover. This is a really good idea because then you don't have to use so many cotton swabs, cotton balls. It helps reduce waste and it's reusable. Next up, I guess we're doing something wrong with potatoes. Let's find out what. They're taking toothpicks, they're shoving it into a potato, and then are they gonna bake it for five minutes in the microwave? Can you do that? And there you go, you have a baked potato. This is actually really cool because I don't know who doesn't love potatoes. I mean, you have french fries, tater tots, mashed potatoes, tons of different potato options. Potato stock should be through the roof. And now we have another way to cook them. Have you ever tried doing nail art and failed completely? It looked awful. I know I have, but here is a really easy way to create your very own nail art. First, you're gonna start out with painting your nail, just as regular. You're gonna add two additional colors to it and then take a toothpick and then you can draw your design on. It's that easy and these look really cool. I can't wait to try this one. So this next one is really cool. Have you guys ever used clear tape and then you had so much trouble finding the little end piece and you're twirling around forever? Just take a Q-tip, wrap it up into the clear tape and there you go. Now you have a defining edge and it's gonna be super easy to utilize again. Cooking an egg on an iron. I guess if you don't have access to a stove but you have access to an iron you can do all of these really fun hacks for example you spill your wax candle all over the ground what you're gonna want to do is you are gonna want to heat up the wax underneath a paper towel and then that should make it super easy to clean up I mean look at this video you can't argue with the evidence there so this is a cool hack. If you have an open bag of chips or cat treats in this instant and you want to keep it fresh, just take some foil, fold it around the opening of the bag, and then iron it shut. This should reseal the bag and keep all the really good freshness in, and then you can prolong all of your snacks. I mean, why wouldn't that be a good idea? This next hack is really cool. What you're gonna wanna do is you are gonna wanna make your favorite sandwich, whatever it is, ham, cheese, pickle, peanut butter, whatever. You are gonna wrap it up in foil and then you can put an iron on it to actually toast it. I love this idea because maybe if you don't have a toaster, you can't toast your bread or a panini press because who has one of those? You get your very own grilled cheese or whatever sandwich you wanted to make. Our next hack is a Band-Aid hack. You know, if you cut your finger or anything and you have to put a Band-Aid around it, how you know I do it exactly like this and then it seems like the band-aid always slips off of the part that needs it the most well apparently that's wrong you want to stop doing that what you want to do is you want to cut the ends of the band-aid in half that way whenever you put the band-aid around your finger you can crisscross the little end pieces that way it should stay secure for way way longer see and there you go now you have a perfectly bandaged finger Okay, so I guess if you drink soda with a straw, you're doing it wrong. Oh, I see what they're doing. If you guys didn't know, your straws always come up whenever you're drinking soda. It's because the carbonation is constantly pushing the plastic straw up. Maybe if you use a metal straw, that wouldn't happen. I'm just saying. But have no fear. What you can do is you can actually rotate your soda straw, your soda tab around, stick your straw through, and then that should hold it securely in place so you're not fidgeting with it while you're trying to enjoy your soda. This next hack is really great for preserving fruits and stopping them from browning. You don't want to just seal them in a regular plastic bag willy-nilly. What you're going to want to do is you are going to want to seal them, but open up a little spot, put a straw in there, and suck out all of the excess air. Whenever you do this, you're creating a vacuum seal because you know when the air touches the fruit, it browns, and who wants to eat brown fruit? Not me. This next hack is for the daredevils. Do you ever pour your juice like this and it spills everywhere? Well, have no fear. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn the juice box upside down and start pouring like this. I, like I said, that one's for daredevils. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I would have the guts because I feel like it would just spill all over the counter. Pouring milk in cereal. Obviously, that's gonna splash all around and not work out. What you're gonna wanna do, no, I don't believe this at all. What they're saying, wait, it's going so fast. What it's saying you're gonna wanna do is put your spoon in the way, and that way you can, uh, I don't know, 
help guide the milk, but I feel like it would just splash off the spoon. And you definitely don't want to put the spoon right side up because I would just get milk everywhere. Well, guys, that's all I have for the things that you've been doing wrong your entire life and as well as myself. Let me know if you learned anything. And if you have any of your very own hacks, leave them down below because I'm going to be reading all of the comments. Okay, a lot of this is wild. A lot of I don't believe. And next time, I want to try out a lot of these hacks. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you want to check out more videos, they're going to be over here. You can also click the subscribe button. If it's red, turn it white. That way you'll never miss another video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!